How's it guys? It's been a while. It's been a long, long time. How's everybody doing? We just killed NFP. We just killed it guys. Yo, there's 350 people on this live. Welcome everybody, welcome, welcome. I've got my super M here. This is what does the magic guys. 439 people. Wow. Thank you fam. Thank you for joining in. Guys, we murdered NFP. We murdered it. We murdered. Killed. What a beautiful trick. You know, the thing with the NFP, even though you can have the direction, it can always go against you. Welcome everybody. Got my super M, yeah. Welcome. Nice to see you guys as well. It's been a long time since I've been going live. I've just been very busy with other projects, which has occupied a lot of my time. But yeah, busy with the trading, busy with other projects. But yeah, guys, God is good. God is good. Guys, I'm not here to talk about signals or anything of like that. Not here to talk about trading. Yes, we had a good NFP trade. I'm just here to chat with you guys. Yes, NFP was killed. Gold, gold, gold is also bombing. Yeah. You know, guys, I think the last time I did a live was about, I think like two or three months ago and so much has changed uh, since then. Because, uh, you know, a lot of things were uncertain from then until now, especially with the COVID and people getting back to work. And um, the thing is, guys, you know, um, the reason why I'm here uh, on this live is just to share something that I was thinking about, right? And this is it. You know, uh, when we were in lockdown and all of those things, uh, we made a lot of excuses, okay? One of the excuses was, okay, lockdown, I can't get a job, sending my CVs, companies are closed, whatever it is. But now, that things are starting to open up. So we see that the economy is starting to open up. We see that job openings are starting to open up. People are getting back to work and stuff like that. Guys, there is no more excuses. There is no more excuses to, to do something good for yourself and your family. So I, I was just thinking about that because uh, the other day I met somebody and um, this person, uh, he's not even a forex trader, but he came with a whole lot of excuses saying, you know, it's still so hard to get a job and all of those things. And the, the, the surprising thing is when I met him last year, he said the same exact thing. So guys, I didn't tell that to his face that, you know, you can't make excuses because that's rude. But the fact is, guys, as we as things start to uh, to open up again, uh, we need to get out of that mentality of making excuses, guys. One of the excuses we make is we have no money. The other excuse we make is that things are too tough. Then the third excuse that we make is that we come from a bad home. Guys, if you look at everybody, every person uh, had some difficulty in their life that they've faced. Guys, you think that rich people don't have problems. Rich people have a lot of problems. Uh, rich people have problems where they have money, but they have bad family lives. Or they have problems where uh, they, they, have, they suffer with addictions and stuff like that. But what I want to say to you guys is whatever problem you may have, be it money, be it a psychological problem, be it a social problem, be it a problem with your family life and whatever it is, you cannot make it an excuse. Don't make it an excuse, guys. Don't make it an excuse. That's what I can say to you. Even as we go into uh, half the year is almost gone. We go into the second half of the year. Stop with the excuses, guys. You know, a lot of my times in my life, when things weren't working out, 
uh, I always used to make excuses for myself. Uh, I remember uh, back in the day in 2014 when I couldn't find a job. I always used to make excuses. People used to ask me, hey, what are you doing? What you doing with your life? And I'll make excuses. I'll tell them I can't find a job. Uh, things are so bad. I don't have money to go for interviews. I don't have a car. I used to make all of those uh, excuses, guys. But the thing is, when I stepped out of that mentality of making excuses and, 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 and stepped into the mentality of being a proactive person and making things happen for myself, you know, a lot of people look upon others and they, they want people to make things happen for themselves or for, 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 for yourselves, guys. The thing is, don't depend on other people. Be self-sustaining. I'm at, I'm at home now. I'm at home. Just drove home and then I had to jump on the live because I was so excited about the trade. But guys, just stop making excuses. And I get hundreds and hundreds of messages every day of people just making excuses. You know, if you could take all that energy that you put into excuses and just put it into empowering yourself, how much better can you be? You know, how much better of a person and more active you can be? Guys, sitting at home, just watching TV the whole day, depending on your parents is going to get you nowhere. I did that for a few days of my life and uh, in the earlier years. And it got, it, it got me nowhere in that period of time. Because what happens is there are other people who are going to start doing things and are going, to, are going to overtake you and then you are going to look at it and think about it two years from then and think, I should have did this and I should have done that. Don't live in what ifs. You have an opportunity here. Things are opening up, guys. Opportunities are opening up. Internships are opening up. Job openings are coming in. There's bursaries that are coming in. Well, whatever it is, guys, I'm not even talking about Forex. Leave Forex aside. Leave, leave, leave trading aside. I'm not talking about trading, I'm talking about general life. There are things that are starting to open up and you need to grab these opportunities. Because if you just think or, or have doubts, these opportunities are going to miss you. It's going to pass by you and you are just going to be the person sitting in the corner and watching another person take the opportunity. What I would want to say to you is that Stop letting those opportunities pass you. And again, this has nothing to do with trading, nothing to do with Forex. I'm not talking about Forex right now. I'm just talking about general life. There are opportunities that are going to start presenting to, each other, to themselves to you. And if they do not present themselves to you, go out and find them. There's so many things, guys. Start making it happen for yourself. Even, I always say this guys and I'll always repeat it. Even if it means you going and selling oranges on the side of the road. It's an opportunity. It's an opportunity to make money. It's an opportunity that you never had. It's better doing that than sitting at home and watching TV. I want to say this guys. I, I hardly watch TV. Because... My life has come to such a point where I don't have time for it. I'd rather invest my time into people. I'd rather invest my time into something else than invest in watching TV. I'll watch TV when I'm retired. But right now, I'm here to make money and I'm here to show people how to make money. That's what we're about. It's because I want to seize every opportunity and I want you to seize every opportunity as well. I want you to do that, guys. That's the mindset that I have. That's a mindset that I want everybody. There's 450 people on this live. If one person can catch what I am saying, guys, that's all. I just want one person to catch what I'm saying. This is coming from the bottom of my heart. This is, there's nothing. I'm not talking about anything else. I'm not talking about trading. There's no chart in front of my screen here. I'm just talking about general life. If I can impact one person today and open up one person's mindset and way of thinking, that's all I want. That's all I want. I just want you to grab those opportunities and stop making excuses. You know, those people that make excuses, the same excuse that they made five years ago is the same excuse that they make it now. It's the same excuse. 
But guys, I want you to step out of that comfort zone, step into the uh, step out of the mediocre stuff and get into the stuff of being proactive. Make things happen for yourself. Make things happen for your family because if you do not do it, nobody else will do it. Nobody else is going to do it for you. You can only do it. And I'm saying this because I've been in that position before. When I talk, uh, I don't talk from from being a novice. A lot of people talk about being a novice. A lot of people can say things because their father bought them their first BMW. A lot of people can say things because their parents sent them to university. I'm saying things because I work hard for it. I'm saying things because I know what it feels to be low down there. I, I'm saying things from that point. I'm not saying things because my parents bought me this and that. I'm not saying this because I went to a private college or private school. I don't know those things. That is why people always criticize the way I speak. Guys, I, I don't speak the best because I, 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 I come from a farm life, guys. That's it. I come from a little town called Verlum, previously a farm. I don't know I words. I don't know all of those things. If you, if you show me a dictionary and show me all of those words, guys, I don't know the meanings of them. But what I can say to you is stuff that you're not going to find in a dictionary. The things that I can say to you are things that are going to empower you. Because it's things that people who have money won't teach you. But these are the things I'm going to teach you because you see, it's things that money can't buy. If you take away everything, you take all, all the money away, I'll still have these things and I can still make it all back. But if you have a person who has money already and you take away the money, they won't know how to get it back. And the things that I'm telling you now are things that I'm, I'm speaking from a place where I had nothing. You know, we weren't fortunate, guys. We weren't fortunate. For me to buy things, it was a big thing. For me to buy things, it was a really big thing. And a lot of you are also going to be presented with opportunities. There's only good vibes coming here. There's no bad vibes, guys. But a lot of you are going to be presented with opportunities. And here again, I'm not talking about Forex. I'm not talking about trading. I'm not talking about all of those things. I'm just talking about playing down opportunities that are going to present themselves to you. And if you do not know how to grab it and cling onto it, then somebody else is going to steal it and grab onto it and grab it and steal the opportunity, seize the moment. And then you will be looking back a few months from then and thinking, why didn't I? Guys, even the smallest opportunity that, uh, that, that comes to you, I want you to take it. I want you to grab onto it. There's 500 people here. If I can just impact one person's life today, I'll just be happy. I'll end the week happy. It's better than any amount of money that I've made. If I can just impact one person's life. And as I told you guys, I'm not, I'm not here to, to hype people up and give people false hopes. I'm here to speak reality to you. There's opportunities that are going to present themselves to you because things are starting to open up. And if you do not grab it, if you think that the better opportunity is coming, for, coming to you, I want you to tell you this. You see, I'm a strong believer in God. And this is, first, He tests you with small things and then He gives you big things. Now, if He's, he's going to test you with a small opportunity and if you don't know how to grab that opportunity and make the best of it, how will the Lord... Oh, sorry, how would God give you big opportunities? I want to know that. So that is why, guys, the smallest opportunity, take a hold of it, grab onto it, make the best of it, and then God is going to open bigger things to you. He's going to give you bigger opportunities. He's going to give you better opportunities. He's going to make you a giant. He's going to make you a king. That's what He's going to do for you. But coming back to it, guys, you start with small opportunities, you grab it, you don't leave anything. Don't leave anything on the plate. You even, you even, you even, you must even lick the gravy from the plate. Don't leave the plate clean, 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 clean. You must leave the plate clean. Don't miss opportunities. Many of us have been missing opportunities our whole, whole life because we've been thinking that better opportunities are going to come. And I bet you those better opportunities never came. If opportunity is there, you grab it because God is testing you. 
God is testing you because He wants to now propel you. He wants to test you with this and then propel you into higher heights and into bigger opportunities, into bigger things. Guys, you want to drive a Ferrari, first appreciate the Golf 1 that you're driving. First appreciate the Taz that you're driving. Please first appreciate the Uno that you're driving. Then, the, then God is going to give you the Ferrari and the Lambo. Don't think and dream about the Ferrari and Lambo when you're not taking care and washing your car. If you don't know how to wash your Golf 1 and that car is dirty, how are you going to take care of your Lambo? Stop thinking about the Lambo, guys. Make sure your Golf 1, your tears, your Uno is shining. Then God will give you bigger things. You must take care of small things. Appreciate the 10 Rand that you have in your pocket so God can give you a million Rand in your pocket. Appreciate the 10 Rand. A lot of us don't want to appreciate the 10 Rand. A lot of us don't want to appreciate the loaf of bread that we have to eat tonight. A lot of us don't want to appreciate the tin fish that we have to eat tonight. We, we only want to think about the big things, appreciate the small things. The small things are most important. And you'll only realize what I'm coming and what I'm saying to you today a couple of years from now. But if you know how to catch on to it, if one person knows how to catch on to this, guys, it's going to just open up everything for you. Your eyes is going to feel like it's opened up. It's going to open up for you. These are things that I'm sharing for you guys. These are things that I'm saying to you because I've been there. Appreciate the loaf of bread that you have tonight. Appreciate the tin fish and the can of baked beans that you have in your cupboard. If you don't appreciate that and you're ungrateful for it, how do you expect God to give you big things? Tell me guys, how do you, how do you expect that? When I learned to appreciate those little, those minute things, then I saw big things come to me and bigger things are still coming. Bigger things are still coming to me. Bigger things are still coming to you. Bigger things are still coming to your parents. Bigger things are still coming to your family. Bigger things are still coming to your siblings. Bigger things are still coming to your friends. Bigger things are coming. But first learn to appreciate the smaller things. When you're able to appreciate the smaller things, it converts to bigger things. Guys, that's all. You're not going to find anything else. Nothing else. I'm not going to, I'm not here to brag about anything, guys. I'm not here. I'm here to give you facts. I'm here to give you facts of life. Things that will empower you. Things that will lift you up. Things that will propel you for the days ahead as things open up. And starting it all off today, this afternoon, I said, stop making excuses and seize every opportunity. So guys, I'm going to end now. There's 500 people here, but I'm going to end. I want you to have a blessed weekend. I just wanted to share this with you. Now that time has freed up, I'll be doing more lives. My lives is not to rant, not to talk about other things. It's here to lift you up. It's here to empower you. I'm speaking from a place where I have nothing. And now God has given me the desires of my heart. And he can do that for you as well. But first, appreciate the little things. I'm still not where I need to be, but I'm better off from where I was. And that is a testimony on its own. And, I'm, and, I'm, and, I'm, and, and I bet you, many of you are not where you need to be, but you're far better off from where you was. From being on the streets, now you have shelter over your head. From having no food to eat, you now have a loaf of bread to eat. From having no money, you now have a few rands in your pocket. From using public transport, you now have your first car. And those things are blessings on its own. It's things that you must cherish because these small things convert to bigger things. And if somebody can catch that today, guys, 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 it's going to lift you up. It's going to empower you. It's going to sustain you for the years and the days ahead. So guys, stay blessed. Have a blessed weekend. I've got to run now. I'll be doing this more often. But just stay blessed, guys. And just good vibes only. Look ahead. It's not over. It's just the beginning. J Money, I'm out.